Hey folks, this is Saiyan Chan. In today's episode, I'm going to answer the question, is buying real estate in Colombia a good idea? In the 10 years that I've been following generally the Colombian real estate market, especially in Cali and Medellin, the answer that I've come to over and over again is a resounding no. Okay, and I'll explain why, but uh, this was actually in response to a question I received on Subscribestar. Uh, I'm, he's, uh, one subscriber said, I'm curious about real estate investment in Colombia and or other investment opportunities that the country might have. I know the economy there isn't strong, but I'm very interested in what is possible. Thanks again. So let's get right into the reasons why I do not like uh, real estate in Colombia for now, still. And um, hopefully these points will give you some things to think about as you uh, decide for yourself whether it's appropriate, okay? The chart I have up on the screen here shows the 1,825 day history of the Colombian peso. So it stretches back all the way uh, about five or six years. And you can see on the left-hand side uh, of this um, axis is as one point about five six years ago one dollar was as low as two thousand eight hundred Colombian pesos but recently in the year 2022 2023 you can see that it's closer to 4800 Colombian pesos for every US dollars what does this mean well means that the Colombian peso has been devaluing relative to the dollar. So I'll give you a hypothetical real estate uh, situation um, using with both currencies in mind. Point one is you convert 50,000 US dollars in March of 2014 um, or 2015. Well, the year doesn't matter, but the point is the same. Uh, you, which at the time at around 2,800 Colombian pesos, that's 140 million Colombian pesos, and you buy the property. Well, years later, if it's part of your exit strategy, well, you sell that property and you sell it for 210 million Colombian pesos. You're thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, in, in five, six years, it went up 50% total. That's, you know, that's a pretty good return for real estate investment. In fact, very good. And uh, you're thinking, wow, you made money. No, you didn't make money. You lost money, okay, on a absolute global purchasing power perspective. Because in 2022, that uh, that money, which used to be worth fifty thousand U.S. dollars, like five six years ago, is now only worth forty two thousand U.S. dollars due to currency devaluation. So you've made no money whatsoever. Similar. Uh, in a situation where you're only rental, only renting the property, a similar thing happens where the money that you collect in in rent, that money buys less and less and less. You would have been better off in USA real estate, uh, as one example, right? Possibly. Again, it de it depends. Point number two is scams. Okay. Whoo. And part of this is also unfamiliarity with the country. Uh, in my buddy's blog, and you can, uh, I'll, I'll try to remember the link in the description below. It's uh, he used to write a blog uh, much more actively called the Cali Adventurer. He's a personal friend. I, I've known him for a very, very, very long time now, and he writes in this blog article how him and his group were scammed out of 100,000 US dollars about eight years ago now. So yeah, a long time. And he got scammed, plain, pl plain and simple. Um, th these types of scams I've never even heard of in the United States of, of America, but it's something to look out for in Colombia, okay? Point number three is no recourse in case of scams. So my my buddy, he located and knows where this person that ran the scam 
uh, on him lives. Okay, and that guy never was arrested. They went through the court system, and in typical in in typical Colombian fashion, <laughs> as is typically the case, nothing happened whatsoever. Okay, I haven't asked him in in quite a while, but when I bring him onto my real estate uh, onto my channel, I will ask him about what happened to this real estate deal overall and was there ever a conclusion resulting in restitution or you know, him successfully uh, suing him and make and, and getting any of the money back right there that's another problem trying to actually collect the money even if you win in the court system with which I am wholly unfamiliar okay Point of four is investment property deals are not better than available ones in the United States of America. With with the uh, with point one in mind, with currency devaluation for sure, but even on a percentages basis, what you can um, earn in terms of uh, cap rates, the potential return on uh, short-term rentals, including Airbnb or a typical fix and flip. Uh, situation where you turn around the property quickly in about eh, six years uh, doing doing value add I found that what I could do in Colombia was not better what I can do from in the USA I started investing in real estate primarily as a fix and flip investor uh, and in the process becoming an accidental landlord I started studying seriously in the year 2013 and I started doing deals in about 2014 to 2016 before I quit my job in New York and moved to uh, Cali, Colombia in 2016. I, at the time I was doing deals in uh, New Jersey and I was actively look, looking um, in as far south as Philadelphia and what I found then and also now, even in recent years, with the crazy run up to real estate in uh, real estate prices in the United States of America and also Colombia, is that the deals you can get are just fine in the United States for making money, even recently. And for most of my guys, unless you're down there in Colombia and can spend significant amount of time. I don't think it's a uh, a good idea, although it's not undoable. Uh, for for those of you guys who are interested in real estate, please make a real study of it and learn how to uh, invest in in real estate. Because making money in real estate it happens when you buy, not when you sell. Okay. Uh, if any of you folks need some help on this. Uh, Email me, say in chat at protimail.com, book a session. I'll be happy to run, um, talk to you about this uh, as a person who, who has done it, who has built ground up homes from scratch and is also uh, in his position as a uh, construction manager in the United States, has built million, multi-million dollar buildings from scratch. Okay, moving point number five is political instability. Okay, this has been a recent concern with the election of the new president, the enactment of the wealth tax. There's a lot of change in a short period of time, and I'm not entirely convinced that things won't get worse. And while no, worse generally, that is, and while I'm okay with uh, sending people to go live there because they can always leave. Should things go bad, uh, it gets a lot more complicated when you have a like huge sums of money tied up in real estate in a country whose political situation isn't that great. The same can be said in the USA. Um, and if it were up to me, I don't have any real estate. I would choose to deal with the devil I know than the devil I don't know. Okay. Uh, also, for those of you who remember the riots. Um, that were that were happening uh, very recently, I think in 2021 or 2022, 
Um, I can't remember the exact year right now. But the point is, there were riots, especially in the city of Cali. And these pop up from time to time. But for the first time, my friends told me, don't come back. And they told me to wait out the situation because things were a mess there. And do I really want to buy real estate in a city where things in things are just a a mess politically no this also applies to the united states of america including my hometown of new york when i saw uh riots uh unchecked riots uh during uh the i think what is it 2020 also 2021 it was not a good look at all right uh during the same time what a it I don't want to buy real estate where, um, where there's po- significant Colombia, where there's significant um, political instability. Point number six is unfamiliarity with the system. I don't understand the Colombian court system. I haven't done it before. I don't want to go uh, try to l- learn all the contracts and every uh, piece of the closing process. And while I could learn and the general principles of real estate investing still apply in any country, I didn't feel like learning about it at at the time. I I still feel that uh, even today that you could get acceptable returns in the in in the USA, especially on uh, short term fix and flips. And um, you know, being like having to learn a wholly unfamiliarity with the, uh, a system with which I'm wholly unfamiliar was just ne- never high up on the priority list of mine. Okay. Point number seven is the language barrier and contracts. Every time I do a real estate deal in the USA, I read through every single word and every single document that I'm expected to fill out, including the HUD. The, uh, the the typical contracts for the board of real uh, board of realtors as an example uh, for for a purchase and I always have comments there's usually an attorney uh, attorney involved or at the very least a, uh, a a title agency okay for me to run questions and I am limited in that my level of Spanish is not at the level where I can understand nuances in contracts and how you know this clause in this section up on page three applies possibly to page seven um, down below to subsection uh, B in in main section four. I can't do that, so I have to be relying on people, which I don't like to do. I like to verify for myself, and until I can get myself to the level of Spanish where I can understand it, I have to rely on other people. And going back to point number two, there are a lot of scams. So there's a deficit of trust. Point number eight, it's easier and cheaper to get other visas leading to residency. One of my motivations for studying real estate in Colombia is real estate by investment, where uh, if you invest somewhere around, uh, I think it's about six figures, a hundred thousand or so, that that could lead to a type of visa which fast tracks you to getting a um, a residency, and leading to a possible passport. Well, there, especially if you have time on your hands and you're able to spend significant time in Colombia, there are other easier and cheaper ways to uh, get to those visas and and to residency and to a passport, although it's a bit uh, slower, okay? So um, with with other preferred methods of getting these visas, including marriage or a, a business or various business visas, I decided that it just wasn't worth it for me to buy real estate. So uh, that brings me to the conclusion of this video. I will be explaining more about Colombian real estate in the near future. If any of you folks have any questions, please leave it in the comments section below. Or uh, if you need some help with organizing your life, with organizing a trip to Colombia, or with setting up a real estate investing uh, uh, learning 
an investing strategy for your life in either country, I'll be happy to give you what guidance I can. Email Sayin Chan at protonmail.com for Sayin Chan Life Coaching and Consulting. If any of you folks uh, like the work that I do and wish to support me monthly or even one month at the $10 or $20 tier, please check out the link to subscribe star below. I make exclusive content there, including a safety course, which I'm building out, and other perks, including um, 20, 10% off your stay in the properties linked below in Cali, Colombia. All right, everyone else, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. This is Saiyan Chan signing off, reminding us all to always cogitate and analyze.